Maybe you guys can get some ideas from this. Maybe you can take something away from it. So welcome back, my beautiful friends. I hope you're all having a wonderful week. I hope you're finding ways to still be able to be creative in your homes uh, with the limited resources that we have and using things that we have at our fingertips. I shared with you guys recently my gold picture frames that I got from Amazon and I restyled my mantle with those and I want to share with you guys how resourceful I truly had to be in finding prints to go inside of these picture frames. I'm really happy with having the opportunity to experiment with these frames and really see what it is that I, I wanna put in them, the sizes that I think look appropriate in them, and um, you know, just being resourceful. I wanna do a little bit of a uh, sort of a comparison demonstration for you guys to share with you why I chose the sizes that I did for these particular frames. Let me get started by showing you uh, one of the frames and I'm gonna show you a little bit of a demonstration. So to start with, here is one of the frames. Now what I did is I actually went to a magazine that I had on hand and I'm gonna get up close and personal here and try to give you the best possible look that I can. Um, because of course this is glass and it's reflective. I clipped out a print from a Midwest Living magazine that I had. And I really liked the style of the print here, you know, with the gold on the bottom of the, the bed legs, the gold on the lamp. And then to sort of beef up the print a little bit, I cut out the bottom of the page where the page number is. So this actually says, mwl backslash ja 2019 and there's an 18 with a circle around it and that meant that this was the midwest you know living magazine and that this was page 18. i thought this just gave it a little bit more of a i don't know sort of printed look of making the print itself look more important. And like I said, to kind of beef it up. Clearly this frame can support a much larger print, but look what happens when you add, wait for it. I have these beautiful floral note cards. Look what happens when you add a large print to a to this frame it takes away every bit of the elegance of the glass the reflection take a look here here i want to be able to see the stand i want to be able to see this gold detail right here if i wanted to fill the picture frame completely I would have just went with a five by seven frame that had a mat, but I chose to go with a more smaller centered picture so that I could have all of this exposed glass behind it. That way when it's sitting on the mantle, I get this beautiful reflective glow from behind and in front and it just, to me, looks more modern. It gives it a more, you know, anthropology, uh, pottery barn style look. And I don't want to cover up all the glass. This was actually one of the things I first considered because a friend of mine gave me a bunch of these lovely note cards and they all have beautiful botanical prints on them. And one of the things that you can very easily do is to frame a card in a picture frame. But as soon as I put it in there and I saw how it covered up most of the glass, I knew immediately that's not what I purchased these for. I really wanted to be able to actually see all this exposed glass. It's lighter, it's airier, it's reflective. And on our mantle, um, that being that it's so small, it's much like a room when you use a mirror or you use something of a reflective um, element. I wanted to be able to lighten up our mantle space. I didn't want it to look heavy. The next print that I chose was in the smaller square one, but this looks like it has a the inside of a room 
and it kind of has this shiplap and you know these pretty florals and so i just thought this was really pretty i love the dimension of the print itself inside of the frame very pleased that i was able to find something in a magazine that i could cut out to put in here and actually this is the five by seven frame and i chose this print because first off it was becoming very limited as to what i you know could clip out but I thought it was really fitting. It's, um, you know, an artist who's there at her uh, paint table, her drawing table. This is a larger uh, scale print cutout than the other one was. But I'll give you guys a close up look and, you know, like maybe you guys can get some ideas from this. Maybe you can take something away from it. Um, and certainly if you're going to purchase these frames, maybe this will give you some ideas. So I have to say that I think I did really well given that I had to be very resourceful. I had to, uh, you know, result to clipping out pictures from a magazine. And uh, let's face it, unless it's a full-fledged home decor magazine, um, which I did not have on hand, there's a lot of advertisements in there. There's a lot of recipes in there. There was a lot of things in there, but there was not a lot that I had to choose from that was going to work to be decorative so i mean i really had to dig deep into the magazine to find anything you know fitting i hope you guys enjoyed this video um you know be sure and check out my video description for links to my social media sites and follow me on social media because that is where the real action takes place <music>